episode 1134 of the Multifamily Collective. Today, I wanted to talk about this book in brief. It's Brene Brown, Atlas of the Heart, uh, for those of you who are listening on the podcast. This book, um, <clears throat> really, in essence, what it is, is a, uh, a more pure and exhaustive definition of words that are emotional uh, in nature. So... Brene breaks down probably 80 plus or minus emotions um, and puts each emotion in story form. So she has some very, very powerful stories as it, as it relates to things like overwhelm and anxiety and anger and et cetera, et cetera. And she, she's done this in such a way that it's just, it's profoundly impactful in that it imbues in your mind the things that people are struggling with, whether it be you or your loved ones or those out in the world that you don't necessarily know their their stories or what is going on in their lives, you can at least have a map, an atlas uh, of what's happening and, and you can use that uh, information to be a, a useful resource to, to people around you. Um, I love this book. Uh, wrote a, we wrote a piece for our multifamily collective uh, blog uh, based on one of the things that she mentions in the book. Uh, she, this quote, hope is a function of struggle. Um, we wrote a piece today about struggle and about hope and creating hope is really to the uh, point of the quote, it's a function of struggle. So going through struggles in your life going through adversity in your life is exercise for that muscle that we call hope. And even on the downside of adversity, even in those times of struggle, when it just feels like you're hoping against hope or that hope is not there, it really is there. And it's becoming more and more pronounced in your life. The more you lean into the struggle, the more you're willing to look struggle in the eye and and say, you're not going to beat me. <laughs> you're not going to beat me. Um, that exercise in and of itself is building your hope muscle. So I'd encourage each and every one of you to pick up Brene Brown's book. It's amazing. It's 275 pages of just pure emotion, <laughs> amazing stories. But, uh, and if you haven't read Brene Brown's other works, uh, pick those up too. Every single book I've read of hers, I think I've read them all, uh, is just profound. She is a fantastic um, researcher and and writer in that she tells stories that you can totally relate with and so that you can make applications of the lessons that she is trying to teach through the story. So uh, that's it for today. Take care. We'll talk to you again soon.